welcome back to the unboxers and today we have something new for you super exciting called Ravel Tales Woo! Mm -hmm. so of course that makes us want to sing that all too familiar uh, theme song that has the word yes. tales in it but anyway we will refrain so we have Ravel Tales the more you unwind the more you find so we want to say a great big thank you to Sunny Days for sending this to us for free to share with you today. We're super excited to get inside of this box and see what a Ravel Tail is. Apparently we're going to find more and more and more stuff. So we have pre-sliced it so that we can, oh my goodness, tilt it so we can see the rainbow goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So we have something. Should I show that? Or no, not yet. <laughs> yeah, you can. While I. All right. Try to... Whoa! Wait a minute. Let me back of the box. All right. Show it. Show it with all the Whoa. awesome confetti. <laughs> Boy, it's beautiful. Okay, so he's gonna pull off the confetti real quick while I show off. Are both booklets the same? I think Is this so. My yes. language. <laughs> okay, so we have Ravel Tales. The more you unwind, the more you find. And we have. Um, the knittens, <laughs> get it, like kittens and knittens, and um, they, uh, let's see, the Ravel Tales live in a cozy little sewing shop called The Last Strand. Although there is comfort and security inside their yarn balls, they do find themselves curious about the outside world. They join together and form the Unravelers, a club, a club that plans on unraveling your yarn balls to begin a new adventure without being noticed. Their story will become their Ravel Tales. Oh, that's how cute! So here we have two different um, um, knittens. Um, looks like um, perfect cuddly companions find themselves baking in the sun. So there's a little synopsis about what? Can you just be knittens? Oh, I don't know. Is the K silent? But like knitting. Oh, I don't know. Could be, could be. And then the pom-pom pups. Oh, how cute are they? And then the button bears. Like a panda bear and like a honey bear. Very cute. Oh, and pearl ponies. Whoa. Very cute. And it says join the adventures by following uh, at Ravel Tales. Hashtag the Unravelers. Very cool. And of course, this is from Sunny Days. So we are getting ready to unravel this <laughs> ball of goodness. Look at that. It's so soft and beautiful. I don't want to mess it up. Oh, no. uh -oh. oh my goodness, more ravel inside. <laughs> so does that tell us who we have? I don't know. Uh -huh. Maybe? I don't know, maybe so. And maybe that's just the outside of the box. Okay, I'll okay. unravel this. Next. It says bed filler. So this, um, this part I'll explain to you in a little bit. I think, look at there's a little, oh, it's wow. a nice, you know, not very sharp um, plastic um, needle so that you can create. All right, then we have this one, which is, looks like a yarn one. Okay, whoa. So on the end of this one, it says pom-pom. Oh, so these are going to make pom-poms. Oh, okay. So, looks like we're going to make pom-poms with that orange. So those orange. two pieces are So let me back it up a little bit so we can see all the pieces. Okay. And then we have this piece of string. Nope. Whoa! Oh, it says bracelets. Bracelets. So these are the... Look at that! I think that is... A sunshine, a paw, a donut, and... and I think this is your pet's whatever. name okay. tag. Oh, that, that, um, the one with the yarn? Yeah, the... Okay, let's see... Nubby? ...who our pet is! <gasps> Look how cute! <laughs> how cute is she? Now you can read us a little bit more. I don't know if it was exactly about this specific knitting. You say it's knitting. I think it's knitting. Knitting? Not a knitting? I like knitting. Anyways, here's some more awesome string. This one says, um, bed yarn. So, I think that's to, so to, you can sew the bed together. All right, and then you have this U, which I think is used to make the pom-poms. But don't worry, we're going to step-by-step it through. Look at that. And you get some stickers. And here is going to be the awesome bed that you're going to make. Look at that. Oh, how cool. It's got the stitching in there. 
So, very cool. Alright, so it looks like we're going to use our yarn to make a mitten's bed. And then we're going to fluff her up. Fluff her, fluff her, fluff her. She's been shoved in there. I'm going to fluff her up. She's got this cute little yarn tassel on there. And she's got little beans in her body. How cute is she? Very cute knitting or knitting. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cute. Okay, we're going to look at our instructions and see which which of these awesome little crafts here we're going to do first. Please make my bed first. Be patient. Okay, and we have our instructions all laid out. And we have three of the little button charms, they call. They are all labeled bracelet, but you can definitely um, make the necklace out of whichever one you choose. So we have a donut, a sunshine, and a paw print. And I'm going to go ahead and use the donut to make my bracelet. At the bottom of the instructions, it actually has a 12-inch ruler kind of mapped out for you. And it wants you to go, let me see if I can show you. Go 12 inches, and then 12 inches back this way, and then 12 inches this way, and snip it off from your from your yarn to start to make your bracelet. All right, and then you're gonna wrap this around here. It says make your buttonhole so that when you know the donut can go through and catch. So you don't want to make it too small. So you're going to take this piece, um, wrap it around here, and knot it. Okay, once you have your knot, you're going to have, you're going to go ahead and snip this so that you have three separate strings. And it gives you the instructions to braid it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to attach our little charm at the bottom. Okay, so I braided it. I slipped the little button, um, the, the little like button charm in there of the donut and tied it around it. And then I have this convenient little loop to do this for my bracelet. Now, if your bracelet depends on how you want to wear it, if it ends up being a little big or you don't want it to dangle like that, you can cut it to size or you can simply pull it like that and tuck it like this, I like to do that, then you can get it to exactly how you want to do it, you know. Some days your wrist might be a little, uh, there you go, ta-da! Your wrist might be a little bigger from other days, you know, swollen in the heat and stuff, but isn't that cute, the little donut? You do the same thing with the, um, pet collar and the necklace. The necklace wants you to cut it, though, to three strands of 18, so you'll go, uh, once and a half, and then mark it on your string, and then once and a half, once and a half, um, three times, and then you'll do the same, make the same loop, and um, you'll slide the button hook through there all the way through, and then the knot will be what catches in your loop. So you're going to want to make a smaller loop and a little bit bigger knot. So anyways, and now it's time to make the pom-pom. Okay, so there's two different pom-poms. This one has a heart. I believe the other one has a star. And we're going to choose this one and follow the directions for the pom-pom. This is the little U-tool that they give you to make the pom-pom. And it says, first of all, you're going to want to ask an adult to help you. Um, make sure you can cut off a section that is six inches long. So we're going to start from this end. And we're going to cut off a section measure it out to be, let's see that one's part and start to unravel, that's good, six inches long. This is going to tie our pom-pom together in the middle, so you set that aside. Then it says you're going to want to take your yarn, you're going to wrap it around your U 25 times, do not wrap it too tightly. Alright, so here we go. Okay, now that we have it wrapped around there 25 times, nice and loose, we're going to take this other string and we're going to loop it through. Go all the way through to the other side, underneath, and come around like this and tie it at the top. Okay, so once you've tied it, you're going to take your scissors and slip it in here like this and slowly trim 
and be very careful with someone to help you. And you're gonna trim this yarn all the way off. Cut it right in two. Okay, now that you've cut both sides, you slip it out and you have your pom-pom. Now you can slowly uh, make sure you snip all the different strings and you can actually um, trim it up to make it um, you know more uniform or there may be some strings that you didn't cut like this you do need to make sure you have um, some pretty sharp scissors so if you're a young child you will need help with that but then we have our pom-pom I'm going to uh, I'm gonna snip the ends a little bit and make it look a little better because it was having a little hard time trying to do it on camera but and then we're gonna attach it to our little charm and then we're gonna move on to our pet bed okay so I trimmed up my pom-pom the key is you need to make sure that middle string is um, is pretty tight it says not to wrap it around there um, very loosely but um, but you do need to I mean kind of loose but you don't want to make it too loose but you can always trim it up see I got a nice palm and I have attached my little thing and it's got a clip so you can clip this pom-pom onto anything that you want to so that's awesome let's take a look at time to make the bed Time to make the bed. It's got the cute little stitched um, yarn ball on there, and um, it's got the uh, it's got it just like this. The the out right sides are on the outside. So and this is the way you're going to want to sew this particular pillow. So it has the string that comes with it. The string is labeled uh, bed yarn, and then you'll have your needle attached to this. This is going to be your filler for your bed. So we're going to take the needle off of this and attach it to the string and work it through the holes. Okay, make sure your holes are lined up just so and it's time to get sewing. Okay, so once you've gone all the way around, almost all the way around, leave um, probably at least three holes and then we're going to take are this yarn which was initially on the whole outside of all this really fluffy pretty rainbowy um, well it's part of the rainbow anyway yarn and we're gonna stuff it through this hole and then we're going to um, tie that off with the bow okay and here's our pet bed uh, you just tie it off with the bow I kind of double did it um, to make it secure and it's nice and fluffy and you got two different sides you can choose from Monday Wednesday Friday side <laughs> Tuesday Thursday Sunday side and whatever day I didn't mention you can choose um, so that is super cute and here is awesome nubby so he must be a knitten because his name is Knubby but I think it's supposed to be nubby because uh, it's on his little pet tag I went ahead and made that and you can see it sli slides through there you're going to use a knot to go through the loop like I said and I just kind of double did it around him it's so cute around her it's so 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 cute with a little yarn and her on her bed and then um and then I still have two one more bracelet and a whole nother necklace I can make so it comes with so much fun inside that you can unravel a ton of fun loving the pom-pom we can even put the pom-pom pillow close to her bed there's my awesome bracelet we want to say another great big thank you to sunny days for sending us these ravel tails it sure has been fun to unravel them and see all the fun that's inside and try it all out thank you so much for watching come back and see us tell a friend subscribe like and we will see you next time